Hi guys, welcome to Neon Vision, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the entry of the UK, which is I wrote a song by May Muller. Obviously, we all know that the UK will host Eurovision this year, so I'm very curious what the host country will bring to the competition itself. I really hope they bring something interesting and enjoyable, and last year they were obviously second, so... I mean, yeah, they were very successful after a very long streak of not being successful. I think it's time to find out what their song is like this year. So looking at the title, I guess she wrote a song, which is not really a huge thought of me because it's very obvious. So let's see what what kind of song she wrote. I'm gonna listen to the music video, which is a little bit loud. That's a problem. The mixing is is interesting. This is not what I expect from a song like this. I don't know how to explain it, but I mean this is a very radio friendly song, but but the mixing is still not what I thought it was gonna be. I've heard some tropical elements and things like that, which is not really common in like songs like this. I don't know what genre it is because I can't call it EDM. I don't think so. I think it's it's a pop song. So far I can compare it to Embers from 2021, which was also a very radio-friendly pop song with not really good live vocals, so that's why they got zero. I kind of feel like this is a Mabel song, which can also be heard on radio quite often, even in Hungary, here. So my first impression is definitely the fact that it, it can be a radio song, and I think it already is, probably inside the UK. Uh, because here I haven't heard it so far and I don't know how it will do in a competition so let's listen to the rest <laughs> yeah I mean it's a song that I enjoy listening to and probably I will listen to it like, ha have you heard it? It was a guitar uh, or something like that. Like it. <laughs> we, I don't really expect a, an instrument like this in this song, but but here it is, and I think it's kind of good to have that because it's not generic at all. It's very very unique. So yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, it's very catchy, it's very easy to remember and sing along to, so that's a very clever thing to do. I mean, it has a very, very simple melody, which I think I can even sing along to, uh, while not being able to sing that well. Uh, and I'm not saying that she can't sing, but it's kind of an easy song, which is very good for the live audience, because they can sing along to it, and that can bring you points, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, this was this was unexpected. Instead, I 
I really hope she can smash this this part live. All right, UK. I mean, yeah, it's it's good. It's a good song, definitely. I don't think it's anything to be crazy about. I don't think it's winning material, but it's definitely a very solid song for Eurovision and for the whole music industry because it's definitely a song that we can already hear on radio and it, it fits that vibe, definitely. You probably know that I always like to share my ideas about every song, but in this case, I don't think there's anything left to say because I kind of feel like I've said everything, that it's a very solid pop song which I think is good for Eurovision as well, and for the whole in industry. The track even has some tropical or some kind of unique instruments, which I always like, and that's why I think it's... Yeah, there's nothing wrong about it. Since we're talking about the UK, they're already in the final, so that's not gonna be a problem, but what will their result be? I'm predicting a top 20, because I think there are songs that can be loved more than this, and there are songs that I love more than this. But as I've said, there's nothing bad you can say about it, and nothing very extraordinary either. So it's kind of the perfect middle ground, and that's why I think like top 20 will be realistic, in my opinion. And last but not least, I will give 7.5 out of 10 for this song. What do you think about this song? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.